What's up, everybody? It's V-Man1313, and welcome to today's Hey V-Man, how do you make your routes video. So I get asked all the time how I create my routes, and what do I use to create those routes, and how do I make them into GPXs and all that. And if you know me and you've watched my videos, you know that I don't really like Gaia app, the Gaia app. It's not for me, it doesn't do the things that I want it to do and how I want them to do them. But it's a very powerful app. But it's just not what I need and how I use things. But the Gaia desktop is a whole nother story for me. And it's really what's created most of my routes. I used to use uh, Google Maps, but there's a flaw to it that makes it not as easy as Gaia. So. Today I'm going to use Gaia Desktop. I've looked and looked for other apps and other desktop um, programs and other anything else that I could use to make routes, make them easy, make them quickly, and be able to export them quickly. And in the end of the day, at the end of the day, Gaia Desktop is actually the best thing that I can find so far to create those. Another day I'll make a video of how I find dirt roads and how do I find all these roads that I'm able to tie together. But for today, we're going to stick with how I use Gaia Desktop to create a route. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously find where you're going to be, where you want to do things at. We're going to do the Piedmont National uh, Wildlife Refuge just because I know some of these roads like the back of my hand. And it's just a nice little area that I can show you. You want to go ahead and start with route. I make my routes red for dirt and black for uh, paved. Today we're just going to stick with a, a red so maybe you can see it better. And then let's just pretend, actually we'll, we'll switch it back and forth. I'll show you exactly how I do mine. So let's go ahead and start, let's start right here at the Charlie Elliott uh, Wildlife Refuge. And I know that this road here, starting from probably right there, is all a dirt road. Now again, I'm not teaching you how to find dirt roads today. I'm just teaching you how to create these routes. And then there we go. Let's name that the uh, test route. And if I could spell, and my fat fingers didn't do anything. And there we go. Save that. Now, while you start, the moment you start, you want to create a folder. So go down here to the bottom. Change folder. Create new folder. Let's call it Vman 1313's test route. And then I try to put a date. Today is July. Of 2024 so that way when you change the versions you uh, your audience or whoever or even just you you know the last time you updated your route and so that's the reason I put these dates on it so 2024 07 July and then create and then we go to the next road and let's do the paved road which I know this one's paved and we'll come all the way up to here. Let's see, where's that one? Yeah, let's just go to there. And we'll call it, you know, name it to whatever you want. If you wish. You don't have to name these right here. I found it easier when problems happen to have this named. So that's why I do it. Save it. Change your folder. Make sure you put it into your folder. Then we go to the next one, and let's say we have found that this is a dirt road here. And I'm going to take that to here. That'll work. Put it in your folder. And then let's tie them together. This goes to here. I know that's so. Actually, let's just go ahead and finish it off. Now, here's a good little trick here. So, when we created this, we want a loop. We don't want to 
jump in. I started the loop here. Obviously, you do it how you want to, obviously. And that's where I want my loop. But I don't want my loop to overrun the same route again. So you can come over here. See how it throws up a little circle? Go ahead and bring that over to wherever you want it. Boom, boom, it creates that. And then we'll test route it. I already forgot what number I'm on, but that's okay. Save it. Change your folder. Put it into what you want. And there you go. You have your first loop or route that you wanted to create. Now, you want to add some waypoints to it. Let's click on waypoint. Let's move it over here to where the uh, there's a campground right in here. We can change the symbol right here to whatever we want. We can name it campground or whatever you want to name it. Save it. Go to change folder. Put it into your folder. The folder is a very important thing to do. So don't skip that step. Um, and then let's do another waypoint. Uh, let's put a waypoint here and it's bathrooms might not be something that you want to do but there's some bathrooms there we can save it change the folder and there you go and there you go you have a route with waypoints and you can just add waypoints wherever you wish and you have everything you need so now that you have your route made now all you need to do is go to your uh, name up here, your little drop down little box here, go to folders, and it's going to show you what you have open right now. This is the reason for um, creating folders. If you turn it off, it won't show here, and then to find it, you'll have to go over here. I'll show you that in a second. And so what I want to do here, show you here, is that once you get to this uh, page here where it says my folders and you have your folder created with your route there if you click on it it gives you kind of like a little preview of it and it shows it to you it shows you how many miles it is up and down type thing um, it shows you what's in it but um, now you can just go here to export and export to GPX and boom there it went can't see it I know it's out of my screen but it downloaded and you have it. You have a GPX now that you can share. A couple things to note, and let me go here and um, let's put a waypoint down here somewhere, and just say it's a, a you know, show point, show pound, show point. All right. Now I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna folder it. I'm just gonna let it sit there. When you go to your folders and you click on your route that you're wanting to mess with, it's not there. And if you get rid of your, if you file it, let me show you what that means. I'm going to turn this off here. And now your route should be gone. It's foldered, it's filed. But that stays there because you didn't folder it. You didn't put it into your folder. So that's the reason that in Gaia you want to create those folders in order to be able to put waypoints into it, in order to create um, more more than just one little road going around. You know, you want to add dirt, then paved, then dirt, then paved. You can easily just do the whole thing in one if you wanted to. And just, you know, you can create the whole route in one little shot. That's not that big a deal. It gives you one, you know, it gives you one, one route to, to do. And you can do that. And you can export this itself as a GPX. And so all you're going to end up with is that. And that's okay too. If that's all you're looking for to do, that you can also do. So you can go to that and have your route. Call this just a just a just a track, just a route. Again, my spelling is not bad. It's my fingers. <laughs> on the, on my on my computer. All right. So then you can go here and export it from here, 
and GPX, and you can you'll end up with this, but you won't get any. Obviously, you won't get any, any waypoints or anything like that. So that's the reason for for filing that. You go to folders. You're not going to see that here. Now, to get your find your um, test route back, you click here on hide archived, and it's going to pop up all your creations all your folders that you've ever all your yeah all your routes that you've made the folders you've created and then in order to see them you need to put on sync on and it'll show it to you up there so let's do that one and let's do um what's one here in georgia that oh, let's do the piedmont okay. so then i have two of them on now i have the piedmont adventure loop is on I have the test route that we created is on. I go in, and there we go. Now this thing's still here. And let me tell you that I don't know yet what archive means. It doesn't mean delete. You keep it, it's still there. It says shows a delete, like a trash thing, but it doesn't. I usually end up having to go to open details page. If I want to delete something, I open this up on its own. I delete, yes, delete forever. And then it'll be gone once you show you when it shows you your data then that's going to be gone but it takes it that much to 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 delete stuff if you archive it it leaves it there for you to turn on later so if you want to use it later yeah you don't want to delete it but there we go let's see let's get rid of the show point again if i archive it it's going to be there somewhere um, so it does not take it off anywhere i open that up I hit delete delete forever it's gone and now we're back over here and we have our Piedmont Adventure Loop is up there and then I'll change it to change the colors so you can see the differences there you go. here's the one we just created here's my Piedmont Adventure Loop and there you go go to folders uh, let's say you want to do the Piedmont Adventure Loop export GPX and it downloads it and then you're done. Well, I hope that helps out in your quest to create your own little routes and your own little adventures. And so, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer. I'm not the greatest um, Gaia GPS supporter or user, but um, I do create a lot of routes and I do use Gaia to create this route just like uh just like I showed you now. Like I said the next video will be or a video coming soon will be how to find dirt roads. That one's a lot harder video, more in depth video. That's not such an easy thing to do people think it is, but it's not. And so I'll try to start working on that and uh figure out a way to to make it make sense to most. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope it was useful. It's B-Man 1313 out.